Hi all, it's me again, it's Sunday the 19th. Um, in my pursuit for excellence or accuracy of this Chinese rifle that I've not yet got, but it has got better, it has grouped um, a bit better since I've changed the pellet brand. Every now and again, I've been doing a bit of shooting, I haven't even got dressed yet today and I was, uh, hot. <laughs> I was two hours late taking my heart tablets. Um, I must be having a, a serious dumb day today because I thought to to get to get this site out of the equation that I've been using lately, which I rate this site, cost me eighty quid off of Amazon. It's not branded. There's no there is there is a name somewhere on the box, but there's no name on the scope. Uh, generic type scope, I guess that companies import or get on the bandwagon and put their name on it. I guess like most Chinese stuff. But it's, it's nice for me because I'm left-handed. When I'm holding the gun and I alter ranges, I'm holding the, the stock with my right hand. So that left left knob there or adjustment um, there for the yards, parallax error and focus, comes handy to me because I'm holding the gun with my right hand and I just get my left hand to the side. I haven't got to stretch it out too far to actually focus it. So on the PCP, this worked. This was sweet harmony for me, this, this side was. But I thought every now and again, I'm getting a silly flyer. Is it the gun? Is it the pellet? Is it the scope? So I got my Allen keys and I took the scope off and then the wife interrupted for something or other. I can't blame her. And I spent another 10 minutes lining the mounts up and everything. And guess what? I put the same scope back on the gun. I went shoot. I thought, hey, look, what an idiot. I've took the scope off and put the bloody same one on again. Hey? Eh? I'm having a, a dumbass day today, excuse my French. So the sight that I didn't like, and I've never liked, because I because it's blurred in my eyesight, there's no uh, no adjustment at the end there for your optical adjustment, whatever it's called. Is it AO? I'm not sure. I should know all these technical words. But on, on all of my sights, apart from this one, you turn that and it comes into sweet focus. Not that one. It's blurred all the time. But it's enough that I can see the target. And it's got these clicky things that you have to take the caps off. Whereas this sight here, you just un undo a ring there to unlock it and then make your adjustment on both the vertical and the lateral. So I like that scope, but it may be losing its zero because that gun has got a lot of recoil when you shoot it. So every now and again it might, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, just one to take out the equation. So... I've got my target up in the usual place and it's uh, 46 feet, I can never hold this camera steady. I've got some tiny dots what are only, I think they're 5mm, sticky sticky little tiny labels, 5mm. Now I'm probably not even going to hit one of them but I just want to see what the grouping of the gun is with these sights. So I've, I've, I've then got that out, the, uh, I've dispelled the other sights out the equation haven't I? And as a reference point to how big those little stickers are, I've put a 5p on there, 18 mil they are. So that gives you that gives you an idea, because when you zoomed in and the camera's on a tripod, it sometimes does make out that the actual target you're shooting is massive when it, in reality it's tiny. So we'll see how we go on this one. Well, definitely filming. Move that site out of the way. Let's get into action. We're all ready for action. Video camera fully charged. I'm just loading my first pallet and I'm going to be aiming for the top left green dot. Now, as I say, I don't expect to hit it to be fair because this gun is not PCP accurate or even Virarc spring gun accurate. Hopefully, as time prog progresses and I uh, keep making different changes and coming up with different ideas because the people that saw the reviews on these guns were getting quite good accuracy and if you're not getting if you're one inch away from your target at 16 yards um, 46 feet when you're shooting at 30 40 or 50 yards you, you're going to be tremendously off target you're not going to hit it and at the shooting club you, you you're shooting spinners that are only the size of a 5p at, at 40 yards um, so then, let's see what happens. I don't know if it's this trigger, you know, because this trigger does feel better than my Webley trigger, which I always moan about. 
I've left that in a cupboard upstairs, that gun, never to be sort of used. Well, right, let's have a look then. We're looking at the green left hand top little sticker. And I, I'm looking for a blurred sight. So it's doing exactly the same as what it did with the other sight. So if I get too many of those that are that far off target, then I can't uh, I can't blame the telescopic. So sort of good news, but I'm losing I'm losing things to, to point the finger at. Try again, top left, a bit closer. In fact, that's quite close. It will look a distance away, but that is actually quite close. It's possibly four millimetres away from the target, that is. Without, without measuring it. No, let's try again. Top left. Yep, close again. That's not bad. Not, not brilliant, but that's certainly not bad. Oh, let's try again. Lovely grouping. Through my sights, what I blurred, it looks like it's about one mil off that sticker. That's not bad. Apart from that fly we had at the, uh, the first shot, that was terrible. Right, try again. See, another flyer. That definitely wasn't me. I can't understand how occasionally it just does a mad flyer. I'm looking at the pellets as I put them in. They haven't got bent skirts or deformed. And they're the Webley Acupo ones that uh, my friend Ryan let me have. Hang on, try again. See, that's grouped high. The same as the last one did. More or less exactly the same place. Very strange, I can't. Maybe I'm gonna clean, I'll tell you what, my next thing is I'm gonna clean that barrel and keep going through and going through till it's perfectly clean. Try again. I'm not sure where that one went. Right, I've changed my spot on the target. I'll go for the 5p. Because, uh, I don't know if that pellet went through one of the same holes. I'm not sure till I watch the video back. 5p, bottom left, bottom right corner. First shot. Now, if it could, if it could carry on like that, I'd be very happy because. Uh, you know, that's an 18 mil circle at 46 feet. I'd be really happy if it could do sort of that every time, if I could hit a 5p five, five circle. Bottom left corner. You see, that went very low and to the right. That was a terrible shot. Every now and again, it just keeps, it just keeps throwing a wobbler and you're way off target, which is no good. Uh, bottom left. Now it's gone an inch to the left, or well, half inch to the left. So there's just no consistency with this gun. I'm, I'm de definitely confused. So the only conclusion I can now come to is the barrel. But uh, disheartening it is. Bottom left. Now it's gone high by about a quarter of an inch. It's good enough to take um, a rabbit down at that distance, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't hunt, but I'll just target shoot. But I would guess it for hunting at 20 yards, it'd probably be okay, but still not, still doesn't measure up to my my what I want out for good. Right, oh, the centre dot, centre green dot. To the right, by a half an inch. Not good. The 
centre dot. I think that went low to the right. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my washed pellets. I've not uh, fired any of these pellets yet. Uh, the ones I was given with the gun. I haven't fired any since I've washed them. And then I'll go for the last target with those. Hopefully I'll get my JSBs tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, after that, I've totally run out of ideas. I now have the dome spitfires in their wash status. Try one of these bad boys. Sometimes the pellets are very difficult to push in. Right. This is a dome spitfire. Top right. Went about three mil to the right, I think that did. Next shot. Top right, see that went high, top right, consistent with the other pellet, to the right that went didn't it, last shot, very high. That's it. Um, other than cleaning the barrel yet again and giving it a thorough clean, I've sort of run out of ideas. And then obviously I've got the JSB pellets when those come in the post, the JSB Diablo Jumbo Heavies or whatever they are. And then after that, I've sort of I've run out of ideas. So next step, clean the barrel. And the next video you see, the barrel will be immaculately cleaned and I will have JSB pellets. Thanks for watching all. Have a great day. Take care. Now I think I may have found an answer to my accuracy problem. We'll see. I'll start loading the gun. Same day, Sunday, 19th. I've put a similar target to the last one. I couldn't find the five pence to see how damaged it was, so luckily I had another five pence, so it's more or less the same as the last target. Let's load the gun. Three shots on each one. That's the, uh, that's what I plan. Three on each one. First shot, top left. Ooh, that was close. Five mil stickers, 46 feet. I'll have two more at that top left. There's a second. This is the third shot coming up. All loaded, ready for action. Third shot. Ooh, still close. Didn't hit it, but still very close. Right, we'll go for the top right, top right, that's the first, top right again, how close is that? It looks like through my sights like I sort of penetrated the, the edge of the 5mm sticker, third shot. There you go, same hole again. Right, bottom, bottom left. It looks through my sights like I've penetrated the, uh, the side corner of the sticker. Like I say, 6mm sticker. Or is it 5mm? No, 5mm sticker, sorry. Bottom left again. More or less the same hole. Bottom left, the third shot, more or less the same hole again. Now the centre, the centre, I think I'm touching the edge, I'm not sure. Centre again, I think I'm still touching the edge, probably one mil off the last hole. Centre again. 
that was me, I definitely pulled the shot. I had to do it once. I'm to blame for that one, most definitely. Now, possibly three shots or maybe one, depending on how many it takes me to hit the 5p. 5p bottom right corner, and I won't be pulling this one. I'll have another one at it, it's only, it's only right. Because it's still standing, although it looks very bent. In fact, it looks very, very bent. I hit it square on, I think. What the solution is to my accuracy problem? This is the solution. Spend £60 more, which is not a lot of money, is it? Spend £60 more, buy yourself um, a Virarc. Because even the brake barrels are very, very accurate. Uh, I'm sure somebody out there who is a better shot than me could have hit those little 6mm, 5mm, I think the 5mm stickers could have hit them first time every shot. I wasn't expecting my other gun to be that accurate, but I was hoping it was a lot, lot better than it has been. But as I've said many times before, I'm getting repetitive and boring. We'll see what it does with the GSB pellets, but it ain't ever going to be in this uh, in this ilk. And these guns got a reputation for one reason, because they're so good. Maybe my expectations were too high. Uh, maybe I paid more than I should have for the gun. But thanks all. Any comments? Blah, blah, blah. You know, same as usual. You take care all. Thanks for looking.